Up ahead, you make a right. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that. The coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Boys, really come through this time, haven't you? Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You down on your luck, Eli? I've had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss the place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. A farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. For my money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? 
it's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tie iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. Ah, Phelps, Galloway, congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? No, they're beat. Why they look so sullen? They're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this, Golden Boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. Not got the no kai so to na mai o na na te kutsu. Dai yonji yon dai butai shizuku heida. Kisima na ne samadato. See that, boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect? We're here to kill the sons of bitches. 
Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, it's my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendez case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Okay, so go left at the next one. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Just ignore this turn. Okay, at the next corner, hang a right. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Oh, for Christ's sake. Crothers, Pinker. The cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Kiss the blood, BD. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, naked. Yeah, 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 we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, 
Further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. May as well follow the trail. Fellas, you'll want to come and take a look at this. Antonia. Huh, same as a library card. Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains, no way is this coincidence. On it goes. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. That's got to be a code or a cipher. Where are you taking us? Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you it was my guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Trail points up. Hold for. 
missing the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. 